Hey everybody, Denise here. It's Saturday, February 3rd? 3rd? Yes, the 3rd. What is this mess, you say? Well, this is what this came potted in. Um, it's taken me a couple hours to clean all of this, which I guess had been sphagnum moss at one point in time. That's my guess. Off of these roots. Painstakingly, I picked most of it out. Then I washed it underneath the sink. It's been peroxided. Very good. Its leaves were all cleaned up really well. But this is an example of why sometimes you have to repot, even though it's not the time of year. This is a Bulbophyllum. Oreatum, I guess, uh, there's another name for it, Bulbophyllum obtusipetalum, but Oreatum is what is called, technically, it's a species, it gets very, very, very long spikes with tons and tons of flowers on it. Uh, there's not too much that you can find out about this type of plant on the internet. But anyway, she's all cleaned up now, and hopefully, it is going on 2 o'clock in the afternoon, hopefully I can get her all repotted. And excuse my work area, I'm going to repot her in this wood basket lined with coconut fiber. It's not my favorite thing, but these wood slats, the medium just doesn't hold in there well. Um, I was using cheesecloth, however, that's seemingly a little problematic. Now, the Bulbophyllum moriatum does go dormant and it's not the time of year for it to come out of dormancy <clears throat> so I don't want to keep it too wet but yet it's got a problem I'm gonna line the coconut fiber <coughs> or line the basket with coconut fiber in it on the bottom with lava rock and charcoal just for a little bit added drainage even though bubbles like to be kept moist and then I've got um, some fine bark and uh, tree fern fiber, I guess that's what you call it, bark, tree fern bark, uh, soaking, and plenty of sphagnum moss. And the sphagnum moss and the tree fern fiber and fine fur bark will be mixed together that'll go on top and around the rest of the basket. So back to the Bulbophyllum oreatum. I'm not going to go into where I got it from. And like I said, you can't find out too much information about it. It's very limited. So I'm going by my Bulbophyllum knowledge and some of what the orchid provider said which was it needs uh, a moist medium. Um, says it's a warm to inter intermediate grower, preferring the warm, and that it likes shade to bright light. You know, something I read said it, the more shade you give it, the darker everything will get. 
it didn't mention which it prefers to fly out, uh, for flowering. So I'm going to kind of go in between the light thing and give it moderate light. Anyway, thanks for watching. I'm going to try to pot this up. If you ever get an orchid and you get it wet and you start seeing something like this, and by the way, this had green, green coated stuff all over the top, which you can't see here. Maybe a little piece right there. That's part of it. And this is nothing. I, I pulled most of this out um, before I even kept it for you all to see. Anyway, um, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video, and I thank everybody who is new to my channel. And if you want to subscribe to my channel, please do so. I welcome all the people out there who want to know about my orchids. See you next time. Bye.